Now, uh, in this example, this example is not very good. And the reason for that I is because it's trying to use the do loop like the for loop. You don't do that all the time. Usually, you should use this one uh, when you are checking for some uh, condition. Or let's say you don't know how many times you will have to to perform the, the loop itself. Okay. So let's say, let me give you an example to that. Let's say that we want our application to find the square root for the number of values. And you want it to stop when... Uh, you enter the value minus one okay so here find s s q r t okay so now this is how it's gonna be mission aisles integer okay uh, i equal input box enter uh, positive sorry positive number okay uh, probably I should make it a double now do while I is greater than zero msg box the root of your number is And math dot sq sqrt square root i. Okay, then i equal input box. Enter. Enter another number. Okay. So uh, you can write it this way, or you can you can rewrite the code like this. I think it's better if we write it like this. Okay. And probably ah uh, yes. Okay. And this one if i is greater than or equal to 0. Okay? Then Okay. So, uh Anyway, the previous form was correct, and, and this form is also correct. They both work the same way. Okay, so here, we don't know how many how many numbers I want to find the square root for. Okay, however, uh, so here, I, I am reading the number, finding the square root, and then checking if it's positive number. If so, it means I want to enter another number, and keep doing so until I enter a negative one. Okay, so let's try this out and see if it works correctly. So find square root. Let's say I want, uh, let's say square root of 400, and here I'm getting 20, and let's say 77, and here I'm getting this number, and so on. So yeah. Now, if I say minus four, the code stops. So. Uh, as you can see in this code, I didn't specify how many times or I'd, uh, I, I should execute this loop. Uh, so the only way to solve such kind of problem is to use the do loop. Uh, the for loop will not be suitable. Actually, you can solve it with the for loop, but you must manipulate the counter, and this is not good programming. Uh, so, but it can be done anyway. So, this is a very good example that shows how to use the do loop. Now, uh, in order to demonstrate, uh, I have another demo for the do loop, and this is something called the bubble sort. Okay, so I am opening another project right now that I've already wrote and uh, I called it bubble okay so let me show you this one at first we have this form it has a list box and have an, uh, and have two buttons this the first button will read a number of values the second one will sort them and display them so if we check the code we have we defined an array here this array is the array that we will read so first thing we have uh, uh, so when we press read values, what happens as follows. We, we ask the user how many numbers he or she wants to enter the values. 
uh, sorry to enter into the program in order to sort them we redimension the array then we read the values of the array okay and finally we call a function called the view array and the view array is very simple it receives an array and a list box and it will uh, clear the list box and display the items uh, this also you, you can write this code here but I prefer to make it a subroutine to make programming easier now the second button here which is sort okay the idea of bubble sort is very simple uh, you make a pass uh, something called a pass which means scanning all the values in your array okay if any value is misplaced okay any two consecutive values are not uh, in the right order you will correct their order okay until you reach to the last one okay if you made a change during this process you will repeat the process from the beginning again and so on until until uh, there is no change it uh, this means that the values are all sorted it might not make sense at first but uh, let's check this code uh, it is very easy now first thing a flag equal false Th uh, so uh, first thing is, uh, is to check the main loop this is the do loop you will repeat executing this loop as long as uh, the flag is true and the the purpose of the flag here it tells you if there are any values that are changed okay if there's any value that is changed for example let's say you have 10 followed by a 5 obviously if you want to sort them you should have 5 followed by 10 so a flag will be changed to true during this operation which tells uh, 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 which tells us that we should re-execute the pass again so here we have the flag set uh, false before each pass now this is a complete pass I am scanning the value from 0 to 8 dot length minus 2 uh, I'm checking two consecutive values if the value at position i is greater than the value position i, I plus 1 it means we have two misplaced values I am setting the flag telling the computer that a change has just happened I'm swapping the values and so on when I exit the for loop I am now in and uh, I will check if there is uh, if any, any swapping operation happened if so I will enter another pass if not I will exit the loop and display the sorted array in the list box so let's check this out let's read uh, first three values uh, let's say five values okay let's say 88 11 22 77 1 and so on so we have these values okay 88 11 and so on when I press sort I get them like that okay so this is uh, basically how uh, bubble sort works okay this is a very simple program that performs the sort operation uh, I won't explain the idea of bubble sort I, I think you can get it, it, it it's very easy uh, the idea of all this program is just to show you that uh, here the for loop won't be suitable uh, the do loop will be suitable uh, for this operation okay so uh, this concludes our tutorial for today about the do loop uh, if you have any comments um, or any questions uh, please uh, post them also check out the website uh, you can download uh, the source files from there you can also uh, find this tutorial in PDF format okay and thank you for watching and have a nice day bye bye